versus the last one, which had a two-car garage, although the two-car garage was large. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Nice colors. Yeah, I love it. But I'm not the one buying. <laughs> Are we rolling? Oh yeah, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Again, we've got a flex room, a room you could use for different things. Um, here they've got it used as like a little office. It's getting kind of gray out. Oops. So we need to add light. All right, here's the garage. Extra storage place. Yeah, it is. Slash coat closet, slash vacuum cleaner, broom closet. build up the silt barrier on the bottom which keeps the water from percolating down into the earth. So that makes the lake a little low. The other thing that happens is they need to sod down to the grass line, but usually they'll seed that and use a different kind of grass down to the water level. So right now that's really pretty, but you can see there are gonna be homes across the lake. It's still gonna be pretty, but you do need to be aware there are other homes. This has a slightly smaller lanai. I don't know if you can see the ceiling. The depth of the lanai is not as quite as wide, or the floor, either one would work. jackpot with the master closet. Let me check out the shower first real quick. laundry room across the hall from it. That's an extra large laundry room too. And I just want to show you how big this room is. It's like standing over here. And it looks like it's got a walk-in closet too. It's big. These rooms are big. A little bit of a walk-in. This 
one's an average room. But it has a little bit bigger closet. The only other thing I wanted to mention is we're behind, in a section of this community which is gated. There are two sections of the community. One's gated and one is not. And these homes, the David Weekly homes, are all in the gated section. Okay, that's it.